everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Infiltration. First of all, before we get started, I want to thank for everybody for answering the polls about doing that um, Duelist series. Uh, looks like we're going to be piloting a hatchet man and our host lance, I guess the lance that will be carrying us around, will be Royal Mechs, which will be interesting because I did, I kind of played around uh, looking at to see what a, what a Royal start would look like quite a while back. And there was a few interesting mechs. I mean, there was. I think I started off with a couple of stingers, and I can't remember what else it was was there. Um, but there's some interesting stuff. So that should be an interesting start. And it should be relatively easy. We can we can uh, take some tougher missions missions, which will be nice. Um, but that being said, uh, let's have a look at the mechs here because they did make a couple minor changes between episodes. So uh, the Cephalus. There was a comment. And I think it was a good one. Um, it, the Cephalus moving forward. Rather than working on offense for this thing, working on some kind of defense, the only issue with that is I don't know how we'll do it. Like, I mean, we could get padding in here. Like, the Chameleon already, when it's turned on, gives us minus 10% damage taken, but jack but jacks up the heat. So, I mean, with the Nova CWS too, like, that's permanently fixed on here. There's not much I can do about getting anything better electronic warfare wise. I mean this thing is pretty darn good. The armor is already pretty much maxed. There's only a few points that aren't spent. So I mean I don't know what I would do defense wise. Now I know different versions of the Cephalus. One version actually comes with uh, increased armor. I think it's 20 points in each torso that actually jacks the armor up a little bit in each torso, um, but I don't think I, I you'd be able to see that on any other kind of mech, so finding those are going to be really hard. Uh, and it was kind of neat too because you could pull them off and put them on another mech, which was which was awesome. Um, but yeah, this version didn't have it when we got it. Now I could take out a medium laser and put a laser laser AM, like the, so we had to take out a, a medium laser and the rocket 10 probably and put a laser AMS in it. So that would give us a bit of AMS for defense, but I don't know. I, there's not much really else I can do with it. I mean, the Chameleon LPS is pretty damn good, and we haven't really needed to use it to its full extent yet, right? So, I mean, we can... I mean, I could practice turning it on and off more often, but... Actually, I think it's already on by default. Because I think we take that extra plus 15 heat per turn. I'm pretty sure it's on by default, because whenever we fire, we're always overheating, and our heat normally is like 11 under. So I'm pretty sure it's on by default. So, um, yeah, there's not much I can really do to make this thing more defensive than what it is. Now, I did pull out the Bolton Rocket 5 and replace it with a B-Pod. Um, so I'm going to try using this today. If the, the user is immune to the damage that this, this thing causes, and you got to be within 60 meters. So I'm hoping a nice backstrike on something would uh, cause damage. And this is an AOE weapon too, so... You know, if we can get into a group of people and hammer them with this, that might be nice. Uh, it's only 60 damage, so it's, I mean, it's not a lot, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, plus, it's good against battle armor, so if we encounter battle armor again, we can we can use it. Although, I don't want to get close enough to use this, because <laughs> you run the risk of them just boarding and killing you, right? So, yeah, there's that. Um, anyway, um, so that's the Cephalus. And then the Holopolis, I did change, although I'm not really sure about this change. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. We'll see how it goes in this match. But I took it away from the indirect um, unit with the artillery and went into a direct fire roll. So we, we put in, we put the Ultra Auto Cannon 2 in from the Hunchback and the one ton of ammo and the Advanced AMS from the Hunchback and a ton of ammo and the Advanced Zoom from the Hunchback. So now this thing has actually got um, hopefully a, a half decent amount of direct firepower for, plus some protection for us. We're at LRM 20 still, um, or LRM 20 now, um, with two tons of uh, LRM ammo for 12 turns of firing plus an ER large lasers. So I'm hoping that this does a little better. It still seems for 75 tons a little underwhelming, but I mean, there's not much that I can really do. If I can get a bigger laser, like this thing, minus 30 heat is actually you know, and minus 80% heat from weapon fire. We're never really going to go over in heat sinking. Like, it's our alpha strike is 12 right now. <laughs> Even with the ER large laser that's generating, generating what, 36? Yeah. So our alpha strike is 12. So if we can find a nice big, you know, juicy 
like um, heavy PPC or something along that line, some kind of crazy ass quick sell weapon, uh, laser weapon, I'll drop it in here because why not? We can sink the heat, no problem. But until that point, I mean, I don't know what really else to do at this point. Um, we've pretty much maxed stuff out. I can't really get anything more on this other than dropping some armor and maybe adding a few more things. Not much more I can do. If we can get some clan LRMs to lower the weight of these, that would be nice. Um, but it is what it is. That's why I think the Marauder would be a nice side grade for this. If we can strip stuff um, and build up the Marauder, that might be nice. Once we get more parts, that is. So... But yeah, we're going to run with this guy today too. So let's go ahead and take this mission we said we were going to take last episode, which is... Uh, actually, we should check the barracks first, because I don't think I checked the pilots. Because I know we have a bunch of experience. Um, let's let me double check here. So Granite's doing well. We've got the uh, gunnery now, which is good. I hear Griff, you. yeah, he's got a bit of points. So let's spend the one point in gunnery. Training confirmed, Commander. Hopefully give you a better chance to hit here. Commander. Uh, Killjoy, I think we're going to hold off. Um, I think we're going to keep going gunnery, so we're just going to hang on, I think. For now. Yeah, I think we will. And then Lethal, order. nothing there. I'm receiving you. Mothman, um, we're saving up for gunnery for him. I and him. Puka, oh, you got gunnery. Nice. Excellent. That's awesome. Gunnery 8 already. Warrior training complete. And then Sturm, and I think, um, yeah, let's save up for gunnery again. Yes, Commander. And Taser Face, I could put guts on you, but I think we're gonna save up for Phantom Mech. I think that's what we were work we were working towards. So we're gonna work on that. So we're gonna save up with that. So let's go ahead, uh, Command Center now. Got three days to the financial report. That should be fine. Negotiate. We're only at eight hundred and fifty thousand for our uh, financial report, which isn't too bad now how, Now we have the Junk Leopard. Let's go ahead and accept this. And we should be loaded already, right? Yeah, so now the save actually works. So we're going to save this as primary. Yeah, it didn't work the last time I tried it. It was on the weekend and it, it updated during the week, so the last few episodes that you saw um, was before the update, so this one I'm recording on a Tuesday night, so um, you have the updates there. So that, that's really cool, the fact that you can save that. And then when you want to go ahead... Um, oh, that's interesting. So Lance A and Lance B are from my um, my health spawn unit for the off... my, my um, battle reports playthrough on the Discord. Which is very interesting that it's actually there because I shouldn't be able to load. I'm pretty sure I can't load that lance. Right? Yeah. But it's nice that it's got the clear option because then you can just all of a sudden clear everybody out. And then you're like, ah, now let's go back to the primary lance and apply it and just brings them all back in. It's awesome. Um, I even changed the name. Like I, I saved a lance in the um, my, my health spawn, the lance A, lance B. I saved a, a lance, and then I changed some pilots up and actually changed one of the pilots' names and came back and reloaded, and it still loaded the same pilot in here, even though the name was changed. So it doesn't tag the name. I guess it just tags something else in the pilot's um, uh, file. So even if you change the pilot's name, and I'm sure if you change the mech name, it will still load them in here, and you don't have to worry about actually having to update it at all, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's, let's deploy and get this done. Yeah, I think it won't require more fire point power than this, but we'll see. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Friendly units about to come under fire. We also have enemy units about to come under fire. Okay, so this is the oh, this is the short one. Look at this place. All right. I've been cleaning the dust from my actuators for weeks. So there's nobody here. Um. That's weird. It's three skull. Which either means their next the next lance that shows up, which shows up right here, is gonna completely obliterate us with really tough guys, and then the next lance that shows up once they get to the uh, extraction point, which I think shows up over there, could be really bad. Alright, well let's just see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's basing it off our lance strength. 
but uh, we're going to deploy there and there. It's going to help us get this done a little quicker, I think. Bing! There's that relatively heavy lance. Oh shit, they got some aircraft. Uh, that could be bad because they're going to go before us. Ooh, it's a Karnov upgrade. And it looks like a Griffin over here. No idea what's got. Nidhogg gunship. Griffin 3M. All right, well, um, Granite, is it you or is it somebody else? It's somebody else. Because you're slow as balls. Um, let's not get you guys too far ahead, but let's get you... Um, Holy shit, these guys are loaded out into the trees. Uh huh. So at least we know what the 3M's got. ERPPC, <laughs> small laser and LRM. Uh, we might as well go for the go for the um, quick kill on this guy. I've got a sensor lock. Since he's moved, we might as well get everybody on him and bring Here him down go. before he does anything. Actually, not a bad loadout for a Griffin LRM 20 and an ERPPC. I mean, it's a good long-range harasser. Ooh, that was me, trying to help out. <laughs> Didn't hit anything. I was trying to help out. Yeah, man. Uh, we're gonna hold off on taser phase for a minute. Commander. Actually, let's get Granite first. Um, oh, who else do we got back here? Ferret? That's it, okay. Alright, we're gonna go out to the car cop. Full speed. Full speed it is. Oh. So, do I have to have this... Okay, here's the question. Do I have to have this set to AMS and leave it like that? For these to fire as AMS? I'm assuming I do. So, if I'm at long range and I can't use them, I'll just switch it over. But if I can use them, I'll switch it back. It kind of makes sense. Well, that was quick. That. I guess he was a glider. <laughs> he just, what can I do for you? He's just gliding to the ground. Do do do. I'm just a glider. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Yeah, this uh, Griffin 2 is not as fast as I was hoping it was going to be, but the weapon systems aren't bad on it now, so uh, I'm happy with it. All right, got a little bit of damage on this thing. This thing's got like 800 armor or something like that, so... I'm gonna reserve Taser Face, though. Waiting for my opening. You bet you are. We're gonna get you down here against one of these two, most likely. Uh, what was that? Who? Oh, it's 13, the ferret. Okay. So, oh, maybe it has some kind of streak and it didn't, uh... Commander? That could possibly be it. Might have had a, some kind of streak and then it didn't uh, connect. So it was a Here whole lot go. of nothing. I know some of the quick cell weapons, there's like streak PPCs and streak lasers that will only fire if they're actually going to hit. But the heat is ridiculous on them. Engage Which is kind target. of a good trade off. I gotta say, I was really reluctant to put the quick cell into the game because I was playing with it for so no long. Joy. And I'm like, people are got all these really weird quick cell weapons, and I'm like, you know, reading some of their comments and Wait, stuff. I'm like, oh, commander. okay, that sounds all right. That sounds all right. But that, now that, that I look at it, they're actually reading, relatively well balanced. I like the pirate weapons, which always seem to be, like, interesting, but you're always thinking, yeah, I don't know if I want to risk the jam on it. But now the, the quick sell, the, the trade-off is interesting because you may get increased damage or increased range, but then the heat will be weird. Or it won't always be like that misfire chance or the, you know, the chance for it to blow up on, or to be destroyed on you. It's just, it just has a weird offset. The one streak PPC that I saw, I think it was a heavy streak PPC, does 100 damage for a half decent range. Will only fire if it's going to hit, I believe. And it does, has a 90 heat, which I think is a good trade off. It's like, it's only going to fire if it's going to hit. But when it does fire, you're 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 cooking, right? And it was on a panther I saw. 
which I thought was a nice little addition for that weapon, like pant like a nice light weapons platform like that. You could take on just about anything with that thing. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go after this guy. I'm on it. All right. Commander. Are we going to be able to go before this griffin? That's the question. Probably. Let's get into here. Good to go. We should be within 60 meters, but I don't think I want to blow this B pod just yet. We're not in a situation where we got to use it up yet. All right. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Actually, what's it against the Nidhog? Ferret's got medium pulses. Small diverse. Yeah, he had streaks. But they were that streaks fours are out of range though. I guess everything was out of range. That's probably why he didn't fire. Actually, that's not too bad, and we're shooting at the side that's already been damaged. But we came here for the griffin, so let's give it to him. Alright, three hits. Alright, that's alright. Good to go. Grasshopper. Just, I'm just walking these guys. I don't want them to go too far up ahead. Special delivery. I want to run past them this like, next turn coming up. I hear ya. Put myself as a meat shield between me and them. Me and the enemy. Or them and you know, you know what I mean. Ooh, what the hell is this thing? Blitzkrieg. How much does this thing weigh? Because I thought it was a, um... Yeah, I thought it was a, what's it called? It, it looks like it, though. Uh, what's the name of that light mac that c just has a large laser? Uh, almost no armor, it's like, weighs like 35 tons. I can't remember the name of the damn thing now. I'm shooting at this guy, though. Ooh, you hit, too. That's juicy. No. Alright, Puka. Um, let's not go that way. Because putting one in the back of my guys would be a bad idea. Let's go over this way. And you're going to not shoot this turn. Go after that Griffin, I think. But Flak Boy here, Mr. Mothman Prophecy. Let's get a little closer. Rolling. Don't be shy. Black mode. Nice chances to hit. Damage 40. Oh, we hit the side too. Beautiful. What is it about shooting from the front and hitting the side? There you go. Popped him like a zit. One less target. <laughs> They're still working on the animations. Yes, Commander. Alright, TF. Um On the move. Full speed. I was going to go after the vehicle, but it's all close range weapons and I'm not risking it. It's just going to attack. It's fast enough to get behind me, so we'll just come back here. Get the ECM on everybody back here. Yeah. All right, you need to get up ahead. Come on. I copy. Let's get on this Griffin. So we've got almost enough to make two Jenners. Locked on. I was just looking at what we have salvage wise before um, I started the episode. And yes, we've got enough to make that Jenner, the one with the eight laser hard points. We've got enough to put him together. And then almost enough to put a second one together. So I'm thinking that maybe we put together a pair of Jenners. Like I want to make a light lance as the second lance. Something really speedy, so... Target locked. Yes. Pull this him. If they push, we punish. Going turbo. But maybe I should not be focusing on that as a second lance. Maybe I should be focusing that on, um, like getting a heavier mech, like a bunch of heavier mechs and focus on that as a second lance and keeping my, my main lance, the light lance. Yeah, critical hit. So that griffin, the, maybe a pair of griffins would end up in the, uh, what can I do for you? or not griffins, um, jenners would end up in the primary lance. And then build a second lance of heavies. I'm gonna unload on this guy here. Got it. 
Okay, one hit. Waiting for orders. This is a slaughter. On my way. This is a slaughter. Well, almost no ammo left in this thing. Got it. That makes sense though. That hit him hard. All right, I guess he was running XL. Enemy down. Which means this Griffin's running XL too. All right, once we smoke this last guy, I'm gonna just like. God, I thought this was gonna be tougher. At three skulls. Um, once we smoke this last guy, I'll just move the le the the mechs into the out out point, off camera, and then uh, come back. What's up with this guy? Not shooting again. So, I know they've been doing a lot of work. I've been noticing some weird stuff with the AI. And I don't mean um, that it's broken. It's just that they're making decisions that they, they had never normally made in the past. You know? Now let's get into here. I'm going to go indirect. I don't want to take the sh chance of shooting this uh, Blitzkrieg in the back. Just lob the missiles Start. over him. It did not, but your AMS is protecting everybody now. That's the I'm most here. important thing. Whoops. Whoops. Let's get some height. Maybe get a better chance to hit. Yeah, but I've been noticing some weird stuff. Um, the AI just doesn't seem to be on its, like, hey. in, a, in its best... Um, game, you know, so to speak. It's been making decisions that are a little weird. Um, I was playing a few missions uh, the past few nights with my um, um, health spawn lance to try and get it back into shape because I got obliterated. I lost uh, two mechs in a vehicle. Two mechs? Two mechs in three vehicles, I think. Well, the pilots. I lost like five pilots or something like that in the last battle. And the lunar battle was ridiculous. Okay. Um, but I got I got jumped by like five Nidhogs and something in a mission. So Good it was like go. pretty bad. Anyway, um, so I was rebuilding the Lance. And I'm noticing that the AI uh -huh. was just making weird decisions. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I had a... Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother shooting. I'm going to hit this guy. I had a um, a battle where we're, I was facing a uh, black knight, um, one of the um, SLDF ones with the pulse lasers and the PPC and ridiculous amount of heat reduction and all that stuff, right? Uh, and it had two Nidhogs and, and an Ifrit with it. And the Ifrit flew in to attack us, but never actually sh shot at anybody. It flew in, it took a lot of fire. And then just continuously flew away. It turned around and just kept going, even though we weren't shooting at it. As soon as it turned around, I started shooting the Nidhogs. And I, I wasn't even shooting at it, and it just decided that it was going to continuously fly away. And okay. we Thanks just shot it damage. from the... Like, we, I finished everybody off. Black Knight first, two Nidhogs, and then that guy. And Waiting for orders. it was like he just did nothing. Didn't shoot didn't do anything the whole battle it was like all the weapon systems were working everything was great it just decided that it wasn't going to shoot at anybody and I, I can't put I can't figure out why right. although whereas the Nidhogs and the Black Knight were firing just fine um, they were everyone was at long range they were all firing from long range no problem um, with the exception of this Afrit and I don't know why uh, and it had what did it have on it I don't think I ever got a, a definite read on what it had on it. Always I know it had four go. missile systems that it never fired off. Um, I may need some more time in the simulator. And two ballistic, I think it was. Commander. What can I do for you? And yet did nothing. So, I mean, in theory, it could have been out of ammo. Right, but if Commander. it was, then all of those systems would have shown up as red. And they didn't. They were all... Like, all their systems were... were uh, you know, listed there, even though I couldn't get a read on it. Ooh, I may need some more time in the simu so I've been noticing a few things like that, you know? But, I mean, they're working on a lot of things for this game right now, like, especially with the battle armor and everything. I'm sure there's, like, 
just things that are like falling between the cracks or you know they make one minor adjustment and it affects something else that they just miss you know that's like totally like you know totally understandable totally acceptable but i don't know if anybody else has noticed a little difference in the ai recently but i have and the mission inconsistency still the weird thing is, is this the, this lance here that we're running has got five mechs and two vehicles. It's rated at two skulls, um, and they're really not like this lance itself really isn't that tough, right? The Cephalus is worth a lot because of the double XL engine, and it's all clan gear, so it's worth a fair fair chunk of money. Um, and that's really about it, dollar wise. Everything else here is you know average dollars, and I'm rating it. I'm rated at two skulls. So my main lance in my um, ready for order. hell spawn is Looking out. rated at one and a half skulls, and it's it was currently rocking. It's slightly changed since this one and a half skull, but it was rocking a. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Um, the the primary mech is a, um, a, a annihilator um, with uh, regular AC twos, Ultra twos, uh, Clan LRMs. Um, and I can't remember what else, but it has a whole bunch of weapons on it. That's the primary mech. The secondary mechs are um, yes, it was a. Uh, Primitive Thunderbolt, but it's loaded out with ridiculous um, gear now. Um, a Bushwhacker and a Centurion, plus two vehicles. On my way. Uh, one of them is a Stealth Hetzer with an with a. Uh, I think it's an Ultra 20, but it's actually it's actually quite a good lance, and it's only rated at one and a half skulls, which is baffling because I mean that lance can take on way more than this lance can. So I'm not sure where it's getting its. Um, calculations from and we cannot what? No. cannot believe this guy is not dead yet it's a ferret mark one this should do it oh I mean that's pretty good armor I was thinking if ferret's like a recon vehicle but this is like pretty heavy armor holy crap there we go All right, I'm going to move this lance into the uh, extraction point, and I'll be back in a second. Coordinates received. All right, so I put the lance, well, my lances anyway. Oh, they're coming behind us. I put my lances in a defensive position around it, around these guys going out. We've got to just move these last few guys. Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Oh, for fuck's sakes, just let me move these fucking guys, would you? There we go. Don't need to tell me twice. Got it. Now, in theory, these guys should just bail. On my way. Oh no, the dropship comes now. Right first. Yeah, there we go. So we got one turn here to defend them. So we got an archer, it looks like. Hatchet man. Clint. Blackjack. He's gonna get murdered horribly. Um. Okay. Well, who's up, Griff? Yep. Uh. Ah, crap. Do I reserve or do I? Let's start laying fire down so these guys don't shoot at the, uh, the guys I'm trying to defend. This guy's got his back to everybody. So maybe we shoot at this guy here. I mean, we could just switch this to AMS. And hopefully shoot down his missiles. Let's try that. Copy. Nothing. Lucky that one. Well, sure as hell wasn't skill, that's for sure. Um, okay, so they're gonna they're gonna definitely attempt to go after the guys in the target. So we want to shoot at the mechs that have the most indirect, which is really the archer. I don't know if this hatchet man's the LBX twenty hatchet man. I think it's probably the ten. How much armor does it have? Seven sixty. It's probably the ten. But I think we're gonna shoot this guy. 
or we just shoot the hatcherman. That works too. Good to go. Yeah, they can't even turn, which is really annoying. So you're done. That's kind of sucky. Yeah, that's conf sure. Awaiting orders. Sure, I'm not going to argue it. Just makes the things easier for us. So this is the Wolverine, right? Yes. So we're going to move you up. On my way. Double time. You are the guy that I don't mind people targeting. You and the Holopolis. So I'm going to move you up. Um, what are we looking at here? Let's not go overheat. Fire these guys. Actually, let's go with this. Let's see if we can get a hit on this guy. Alright, we got one on. Not bad. Here comes the sensors. There we go. Give us a little bit of targeting info. Come on, Colonel Clink. All right, they got two chances done. Hey. Two chances done. Let's go uh, say hi to this uh, Clint. Let's go say hi to the Clint, because we can. Ultra 20, here comes. That's actually not a bad loadout for a Clint. I hope you all right, we got one on. Looks like it was a arm hit. That looked like a critical hit. Beautiful. You got him. So the blackjack two. That's the um, forty. F wait. That's the you fifty fifty tonner, isn't it? Armor. Isn't he the one that weighs I more? Can't take much more of this. A pair of ultra fives, though. Pretty sweet loadout. Oh, you can't even move. You can't even shoot. Brace it up. My mech. Yeah, I always... <laughs> your armor's still all white. Why the hell are you complaining for? Barely hit. That's why we put the spall, uh, the spall liner on you and everything. Reduce your damage and jack up that armor. Somebody needs to get shot at. It has, sure it's only gonna be me. Move into position. Alright, let's get there. Let's get rid of this Clint. Ultra 2 is jammed. Still? Really? Really? Still. Okay. That hit something good. Waiting on you, Commander. Hi, Griff. Moving Same idea. Field. At least the Griffins become less of a target. Ah, oh, fuck. Why did I open my mouth? It just seems like he's become less of a target lately. He's flying under the radar, so to speak. I don't like how this is going. Yeah, I'm sorry. I hear ya. Can't do anything. Resting my neck. You can, though. A pair of Lerm 15s. Might as well just apply liberally to this guy. Alright, a little bit of damage. Let's see if he bails. Another hit like that and you're toast. Nah, I'm he's not. It. He ain't. But he might be here. Alright, at least we get a little bit of evasion here. Three three chevrons ain't bad. And we got the uh we got the, uh, what's his name in the background there? The blackjack, so if we miss this guy, we might hit the blackjack. Affirmative. Nope. I think things are going. The objective is secured, Commander. You bet it is. Because we're extremely reliable. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have to take 
some tougher missions. Uh, which of this archer do I want? I think we do this. It's an Apollo, not an archer. Well, just shoot him then. B pod. It says ammo too, but it's one shot. I guess it fires them both. So hit percentage chance 0.9. I guess it really needs to be point blank. Let's give him everything though. Firing on target. Yeah, I thought for sure this was an archer. See, that's what I get for not there reading. SRMs remaining. <sighs> what can I do for you? Attention deficit disorder is a real thing. Uh, let's move over here. Gonna hammer this guy. Uh -huh. Awaiting orders. All right, you. Let's not turn our back too much to the Hatcherman. Otherwise, he ah, he's too slow. I was gonna say you might run around, might run around behind us and kill us that way, but he's too slow. Don't think I'm gonna need to. No, oh, might as well put a tag on. You never, you never know. We might need to finish him up with somebody else. Engaging target. Tags on. Wow, he took it. Good to go. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Yep, our AMS did fire. Okay, did you hear? The AMS did fire. Used eight rounds, so that's how I guess that's how you use it. Just switch the ammo type around. And for some reason, I can't use. Does it take a, a round to reload? That's interesting. Target neutralized. Maybe it instantly reloads AMS ammo or something? I don't know. Find out in a second. It almost seems counterproductive to to do that. Well, thanks for showing up, buddy. Oh, they don't like me at all. I'm gonna die. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Ah, oh, man, I don't. I want those ultra fives, but. I also don't want to take a lot of damage. That guy's that guy's applying a lot of damage to us. So let's um, hit him with everything. I, I'll take one. If we can strip his side, I'll take one. Got past his armor. Yeah. Short range missiles are out. That's all right. Yeah, we're inside the range for those long fire so good. missile racks of his. They will be done. So let's get over here. I'm very tempted to shoot that hunchback in the back, or uh, sorry, the hatchetman, but I'm gonna go after this guy. I think maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 51, 89. That's the blackjack. 70 for the hatchetman. What's his back like? Not that great. LBX-10. Let's take a shot at his back. Firing all weapons. Really? You just gonna need a calibration on my targeting. Just system. gonna miss them both, are you? Just feel free to miss them both. Yeah. Hatcherman's gonna be a real interesting playthrough for the, <laughs> the duels, because I'm never Damn gonna get close minor. to anybody with that thing. It's such a waste of a friggin' melee mech. 
Yes, Commander. First thing we have to do is get a nice big engine. Um, Ultra 20's jammed. Oh shit, you got like no side left either. Yeah, so why don't you go back here? That was my fault. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> let's just get you back here. I keep forgetting you don't have a lot of armor. Just stay over there. Everything's good. Just, I'm surprised they didn't try and capitalize. I think we did, we did more damage to her than the rest, than everybody else, so. Uh, let's go here. Let's see if we can drop this guy. This guy's the real threat right now. He's the real threat. Unless that Hatcherman can get into melee, but it's in the trees and stuff right now. He just doesn't have the juice to get there on time. Yeah, so I guess we take a turn to reload these, but whatever. There we are. Hostile eliminated. Order. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. We're gonna go drop our heat. Keep our 25 ton light mech alive. You, Commander. Affirmative. What's up, buddy? Oh, I got a gift for you. Commencing alpha strike. Presents for you. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Oh, he's going to take it. SRM, but he Commander. ain't going to like it. <laughs> ah, that never gets old. Well, maybe for you it does, but for me it doesn't. Well, at least it wasn't the Hatcherman. And here comes everything. My AMS is still firing, which is a good thing. No, that's from the Holopolis, though, not from my guy. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Thanks for being a part of the team. She's freaking gone. She's gonna leave. Ready for orders. All right, Mothman. Why don't you follow up what you did last turn? Except this time, hit. He's in trees, though. Here it comes. Two hits. That should have been breaching shot, I think. I think that one was. The leg shot. Was it a leg shot too? I guess maybe. I don't know, maybe. Coordinates Punching received. all the buttons. That's still pretty good for point blank. Locked on, you're on. Still gonna hit my own guy, though. Scored. It's time to bail out, guy. You're a stick. Go home. Well, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> he decided to stick it out. He's a walking stick. Okay, so this hatchetman. Commander. It's gonna be an interesting playthrough, I gotta say. The uh Let's go to here, I think. The um The Duelist series with the Hatchetman. It's really gonna depend on what our first missions are and how well everything's gonna go. Cause I gotta like if we're only here's the here's part of the problem is if we're only using stuff that drops and I get destroyed early on, like if I lose my engine for whatever reason, then it's over, right? So I gotta figure out another way to um factor that in. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna keep track of the amount of money I make. Um uh, and then um Whatever money clear. I make, um, Crap. No joy. I'll, if I, if I, for instance, if I need to buy an engine or whatever, I'll just keep track of it, and then if I have to buy an engine, I can use that money to buy an engine, but only to replace the parts that I lose. So,
So, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. I'm hoping that I, I don't have to worry about um, losing components that early on. See ya. Farewell, sweet friend. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, here we go. So, pretty good experience. Nobody really took any damage. I don't think I lost any components either, so I think we're fine. If we did, it would, been, would have been me destroying them on our side. So, Blackjack, Griffin pieces, Hatchetman pieces, Nidhogg pieces, Goss rifle, ATGM, not a lot on there. The Goss rifle's nice, though. Just have it sit back and just fire off that thing all the time. I mean, it might be worth taking a few of those pieces. ERPPC. I mean, that might be good for the Holopolis too, right? There's the Gauss rifle. That might be good for the Holopolis as well. Uh, I like the idea of using a laser more than a ballistic weapon, though. The reason being, one, there's no ammo. Two, it's lighter. And three, we have an amazing amount of heat seeking capability, so the heat is not a factor. So it just makes way more sense to put a nice big massive laser on that thing than it does to put a big ballistic weapon. Of course I'm gonna get the biggest ballistic weapon on there I can, but it's I'm kind of leaning more towards a nice big laser weapon, but I don't know what that's gonna be yet. I think I'll take the Ultra Five. Um Fire Control System breaching. That's a possibility. Improved, I'm going to throw there for now. Four-ton hatchet, double heat sinks, double heat sink kit. We could take for money. Although we, we did okay on this one. We made like 400 and something thousand. Advanced jammer sensors. That's not bad to get some kind of ECM on somebody. But I think I might take, so there's the Ultra 5 ammo. Lead slug. What's the difference between? Because I know there's slug ammo. Did, did they change it just to be lead slug? Plus two recoil. I think so. I don't think this is worth it. Like double stability damage dealt. In my mind, that's not worth it for that. Le like that. Like only doing ten percent damage. But I guess if you're attempting to capture mechs, you know, you'd want to be knocking them over consistently. So that's probably a good get if you had, imagine if you had like a um, uh, heavier an assault mech with like three LBX 10s. So you'd be doing 30 stability per hit, 30, 60, 90. And I think it's 20 per, it's 20 for, per block. So you have about a hundred stability so you could almost take a mech off its feet with three of these using slug. So I guess that's not bad. It's not bad. All right, I think I'm going to grab as much as this 50-ton um, blackjack, like seven ballistic and two laser, two missile. It's a nice weapons platform, but I hate the mech. I just cannot stand it. And I can't explain why. I just don't like it. Although there's... I think we've got Clint parts. So this one wasn't actually a bad loadout with the five lasers. But I think we go Nidhogg at this point. Just so we have the pieces, so hopefully in the future we can put one together. Um, and I think two of them will ensure, with five pieces, two of them will ensure we, we can put something to, like this version together. I think you need at least two pieces. If you've if you're if your salvage is five, I think you need at least two pieces to be able to put a, a specific version together. So we'll go that route, and we'll just take this stuff. All right, Apollo piece, three of the black, of course, I get the blackjack pieces. Hatchet Man part, another Nidhogg part, nice. ERPPC, nice. Small laser 
blaze fire so that does it's got a jam chance 22 damage not bad I might replace one of the medium lasers on the um, yeah we might be able to place replace one of the medium lasers on the cephalus with this and then switch the rocket pack from a 10 to a 15 or no it would go to a 20 I think I think we could get a rocket pack 20 on there that might even give us more punch more bang for our dollar got the Gauss rifle too that's nice armor can go endo steel I think we'll probably hold on to yes we will Artemis will hold on to energy crit will hold on to the hatchet I wasn't expecting to do a million mech but I'm gonna hold on to it because you never know right that heat sink can go advanced jammer nice got the Gauss ammo okay we got actually how many rounds are in here eight okay wait we've already got one too so that's 16 nice so this is the one that's the m9 which is the increased range that's actually not bad all right cool all right twenty nine thousand. that's not not too bad most of that was probably done by me um so before we leave this planet i'm going to take a look around to see if there's another one of those uh, missions that we could take where we could actually help out rasselhag somewhere so and then we'll jump we've got a good uh, amount of sea bills saved up we got a couple of months of financial reports and we're just at the end of the month now anyway so our mechs come back after the monthly monthly report so we'll just jump out of here find some place nice um gonna look for around a three skull world see if we can get three and a half uh maybe into four skull missions uh to see what we can get i'm just the the as soon as we get to four skull it's just if we get a bad roll that's it for every like we're pretty much done i think um so we got i gotta we're at that point where we got to kind of be really careful so three skull i'm going to take some three skull battles just to see how those pan out see what we can do there then it, maybe we go to three and a half but we'll see how it goes and then uh hopefully we can get a um uh, a planet where we can help out rasselhag either with an assault or a defense i don't know which either one is doesn't really matter and hopefully they've got a half decent amount of forces so we're not forced into taking as many missions as possible and then if we w if we win the battle hopefully we get some nice juicy salvage out of that but anyway i'm going to end this episode here guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and go over to the discord and check out the battle reports uh stuff that's going on we're gearing up for the next uh battle um and also um check out my polls on my uh, youtube channel um feel free to answer some questions there i'm, I'm trying to post a couple times a week anyway um just uh, some quick questions to see what you guys are interested in and see what you might be interested in seeing me play. So, yeah, just head over there as well. Till next time, we'll see you later.